So they question Yo Gotti's cousin about the big Juke case, and now they're asking questions about Young Dolph and Yo Gotti's involvement in that. So now it's a matter of time until Yo Gotti gets caught up because his cousin is starting to tell on him. People are starting to figure it out that he's the main person that pretty much set this whole thing up. And so this is why they're looking at getting everybody around him to pretty much get caught for something and so that they tell on Yo Gotti to get a lesser time for themselves, man. So at the end of the day, everybody knows for a fact that it's dwindling down, it's coming down. The feds are closing in now. The time is getting less and less. Yo Gotti and them CMG, they've been on a run. They've been free this whole time, but the feds has been building a case against them. One thing that the feds like to do is they'll wait until they got a 99% chance that they could come and get you. They gather all the documents, all the evidence, all the footage, talk to every witness and get the statements and the testimonies. And then they pretty much built that case against Yo Gotti and them, and they're coming after him sooner or later because they know that all fingers are pointing back at them and they got caught red-handed for setting up Young Dolph. They followed the paper trail, especially after Big Jug got taken out. They already were questioning him and they found the paper trail connecting the $40,000 that was sent and withdrawn from Govan from Yo Gotti's accounts. And so once that connection was made they know for a fact that they all played a certain role in taking out young Dolph. everybody got paid in some sort of way um they got told what to do and they were given orders and those orders came from no other than yo Gotti, allegedly so at this point now since everybody that's been getting questioned about this is starting to cooperate with all the feds it's looking like it's time over game over for yo Gotti because it's just a matter of time until the feds come and sweep and they end up hitting late, you know, early in the morning, 4 or 5 a.m., when nobody's expecting it. And so this is the situation of what was going to be going on. That's why Money Bag Yo, he removed himself from the situation. He knows he was caught driving around in that Bentley truck with Yo Gotti and Big Joke and everybody like that, looking at the Young Dolph scene and actually pulling up to the cookie shop. This is why the witnesses said that they seen Yo Gotti, they seen Black Youngster, they saw a lot of the dudes from CMG, including the behind the scenes people that was inside the cookie shop, because the the main witness, 007, she for sure saw the guys come out the side of the cookie shop and go into the getaway car, and Yo Gotti's cousin, he was caught in the getaway car, because this is the first thing that they did, they went and found the cars from the scene, and they saw that they dumped the getaway car at a house that the music video was shot at so when they went and pulled up the music video it was straight dropping it it was all the other people that got caught up and basically this is why they ended up going and taking down straight drop and cornelia smith once they found the mask and gloves and all the fingerprints came back to them they knew they had been in that car one day but it's, it was a third person in the car who they actually let go and this is what yo Gotti's cousin and black youngster's friend that's who he was and he ended up being on the run for a while but once they came once they found out that he was the driver and they already got a lot of people th and that's close to Yogati and Black Youngster. they basically went out and and took down the getaway driver again and this is why they were able to get more information because once they took him down, he ended up telling on Black Yunsta and Yo Gotti. He told them about the Bentley truck. He told them about the money that they sent through uh, Govan and Big Juke. And this pretty much opened the door to breaking down the case. And so now at the Young Dolph case, they basically looking at questioning everybody from CMG and everybody from the cookie shop. Because if they even think that somebody had any type of thing to do with it, their pretty much head is on the chopping block and you in the hot seat. Especially the cookie girl, the owner, uh, Maurice, and everybody like that because they gave conflicting reports talking about they were inside the shop and everything. Then once the forensics and the uh, questions started coming up about how it all happened, they act like they didn't see nothing. And then they started saying that they weren't even inside the shop and now it was outside. So... They started switching the stories up, and that's what got them caught in the lie. The feds know this, too. This is why the feds have been watching all of them closely about the fact that once that whole thing happened, 
they were basically using the stories or changing because they were trying to cover up for the dude who was the owner and everything like that because they know for a fact who was inside that shop a lot of the sources close to what went on they have witnesses and videos of people who came out of that cookie shop and it was a lot of people it was dude random dudes coming out the side with dreads and the witness said that they seen them walking around with the blinky and everything like that and they hopped in the car of the boyfriend of the girl who works at the cookie shop not no one trick or tray who is raven's raven the cookie girl that's her man's and everything like that so what's what is he doing pulling up to the side of the family dollar and then the guys that just was inside like hit, shooting the rounds and everything like that the guys that just set up young Dolph and everything come out the back of the shop and go right into his car so they all directly connected one way or another they use certain people as getaway cars they use certain people to basically follow young Dolph and try to figure out like exactly where he was going to be at then once that led him to the cookie shop because Dolph was going to do the turkey drive at the cookie shop. This is the reason why he came back to Memphis. And so they pretty much got them to drop the location, the cookie girl. They said what time everything was going to happen at. They told Dolph to come early so that he could give him the deposit and everything. He went to go get the money at the safe because he already has connections to some of the businesses right there in that plaza. This is why he chose that because he has that as a stash spot. So once the cookie shop realized that, oh, Dolph was going to like they could try to get him here early. They were already told if they could get the drop on young Dolph, they was going to get twenty five thousand right off the jump. And so this is what motivated them to basically start calling around. And once they got a hold of um, Black Youngster and Yo Gotti's brother, they told him, Dolph is over here. Dolph is over here. Send the goons now. So that's when they sent the actual the white car. They sent the two door white car and it pulled up. Dolph was already inside. They had people inside already fighting Dolph, basically. Dolph was like attackers was coming. They were trying to like jump him and, and basically like surround him and everything like that once they try to ambush him that's when they pretty much everything went loose Dolph was trying to bust back and get back at everybody he almost escaped and got out the front once he got to the front and to the door the lady pressed the button to lock the doors magnetically so that nobody could get in or out and so once she did that she ran into the back and locked uh, Dolph in the lobby and everybody was in the back kitchen watching it all happen and the, ma the people was in the manager's office watching on cameras everything go down then once they locked him in the lobby they told the dudes from the front to get out the car and spray the whole lobby down Dolph was in there and he got the blick on him and everything like that that's when Dolph tried to go to the corner window and everything and he tried to hit the ground behind that table and that's when he got ended up getting caught because he tried to duck down by that table it caused him to fall into the window and basically his watch the diamond bezel of the watch hit the window and it shattered and broke the glass man and so this is why that whole front window the glass looked like it had something had hit it from the inside going towards the outside and that's due to the fact because when Dolph watch hit it and his arm pretty much swung as he was falling Dolph was six foot two so once he swung it's a lot of momentum when he fell down and his arm swung and it hit the glass when he hit the ground it broke it because diamonds in that watch can break glass like one thing people got to understand and know is that if you really know about this whole thing diamonds and certain stones can break glass and windows and everything like that and so this is why that glass window broke when Dolph arm hit it after he was trying to duck down by the table after they locked him out in the lobby and then told the dudes at the white car to come spray down the front of the cookie shop so that's how it went down man and it's a sad situation uh, I want to send my condolences to all the Young Dolph fans, Young Dolph family, Mia J, Trey Trey, and everybody like that. If y'all rocking with Young Dolph, go ahead and comment. Let me know where y'all from. Put long live Young Dolph in the comment section. Put the Dolph emoji. And basically, at the end of the day, y'all got to subscribe to the channel. Like this video for all the updates on Young Dolph. The trial is coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned.